Well, one of the most controversial figures in the off-season for baseball wasn't one of the players, but rather a fluffy white ballpark pup named Hank. Pete Zervakis live with us once again from Miller Park this morning looking ahead to Hank's future as a pint-sized mascot. Morning, Pete. Well, Vince, you can still buy Hank memorabilia and bobbleheads here at Miller Park. We've also seen the Hank mascot running around. He was chatting with Brian earlier in the show, but it's hard to believe that just months ago, fans feared Hank was gone. He arrived in Milwaukee two years ago after the Brewers brought him home from spring training. Hank the ballpark pup, once a stray, was adopted by the team's general counsel. But earlier this year, a blogger posted two photos of Hank hypothesizing he was gone and replaced. Fans fretted. It looks like he's an imposter, the one on the right. They probably have three or four Hanks, you know, bring out the clean one this day, that kind of thing. I think it's the same duck, just needs a hair coloring. But after all the speculation, the Brewers held a news conference. The team cited a notarized letter from Hank's vet showing the ballpark pup remains alive and well. Hank the ballpark pup is still Hank the ballpark pup. There is no substitute. He's the original. I mentioned the Hank merchandise on sale here. We should mention that 20% of those sales is given to the Humane Society of Milwaukee County. We are also told that Hank will not be in attendance for today's opener. He's got some other duties to attend to. Vince, Susan? Mm, well, it's been so hectic in the offseason for Hank, he needed to take some time off. Uh, it's only going to fuel the Hank birthers oh, out no. there again. <laughs> <laughs> Still